Hello. Oh, Cheerio, how are you today, darling? Don't you mean see my daughter Sharon? <laughs> I'm just practicing, you know, because today we're going to be talking about tea etiquette from all around the world. You know, I wanted to be ready for this. Are you ready for the introduction? Okay. This is Claudia. And this is Sharon. Welcome to A La Mode by EM Podcast. Mom, I'm like really excited about what we're going to be talking today. I love the way you set up this, Shane. Well, you can I tell. I really love it. You can tell that I'm really excited by how I prepared for the podcast today. You see, I have this cinnamon and apple uh, candle because, you know, autumn is around the corner and it's like my yes. favorite season ever. Um, I have some pumpkins over here. <laughs> I'm probably a little bit early, but I don't care. I'm excited. Uh, and I also prepared some mint tea for us. That's why I'm not talking, because I already <laughs> drink and enjoy my tea. She's just slurping away. Mm, you have no idea how wonderful. We have uh, two uh, cups of tea, mm -hmm. okay, one of each one. And we have beautiful Look, butterflies. I'm going to make noise so you can just understand that we are... Shame, make note you. Yay, tea time. <laughs> Mine sound better. But... They are white caps with a lot of pinkish flowers, the, the print, right? Yeah. The design, I'm sorry. And <laughs> butterflies. And look at my spoon. It's so tiny. It's not like a oval. It just has like a little flower yeah, Like the curve. Shape. Like the curved part of her spoon is the shape of a lotus. Oh my God. And my, mine is just like, you know, the regular tiny teaspoon, but this is actually... <laughs> One that, that uh, my grandmother gave me, so, so it has like a lot of like, you know. Emotional. Emotional, emotional moment. Mm. Emotional value. Mm. <laughs> so mom, why are we talking about tea culture? Well, ever since we start sharing um, when we teach in our classes in modeling, but we love to teach international behavior. Why? Because our models always is going to start traveling around the world but yeah. our kids they're not models probably they, they're not potential models but they want to be i love to teach them too because they need to learn behave with other cultures yeah i think that every person in any career must be aware of the different cultural practices that exist you know you, you never know who you're going to be meeting with and it's just respectful for you to show them how much you know about their culture and, and showing the appreciation that you have for that culture. Like it would be... Yeah, it's very important. Sometimes a simple thing could be rude mm -hmm. for all the cultures. And so just as, just as a, a, a little thing can help you close the deal. Like you never know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so ready. Let's go with the first So thing. what country should we talk about first? Let's see if you can guess what we're going to be talking about with this song. I know, I know, right I know. Can I say it? You can, know? I say it? can I say it? What is it? Nah, nah, just you go ahead. Well, I, I, I grew to um, love this country with a love for a very specific boy band that was popular not too long ago. One Direction. Yes, you guessed it right. I love England. <laughs> Let's go with that, Shivan. Tell us. Hey, everyone, let, 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 let's go to England for a second. Let's have some tea with the queen uh, and set up some finger sandwiches and cookies and biscuits. <laughs> Apparently, tea was introduced to England in the 17th century. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was so long ago. That was ago. a long time ago. <laughs> but you know how, like, people, at least in England, like, a, like when you how see... How does start? Like, when you watch, like, movies, you always hear about, oh, it's, it's tea time, it's time for the tea. Um, that is, that is a, a practice that caught on 200 years after tea was introduced in England because Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, she, she requested that her staff have like a, a tea time in between her lunch and her late dinner. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, and, and because she like wanted to do this, and because like she would do this, uh, a lot of um, the upper class was inspired by her doing this. So they wanted to 
to have this special tea time in so between. So the major element from that point to now. Yeah, and and wow. I guess like that that sort of thing caught on and it became very popular, and right now it's it's a huge. Element of England's identity. Okay, cheers for England. Thank you. Cheerio. Cheerio. So next country. Let's see what it is. Now this is a country that I am dying to visit because I've never been. I don't know why we've never been, but <laughs> but um, life. We we have a a special. Piggy bank to go visit this country. And That's what country is that? Next year, now Japan. 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 We love that. I my one of my best friends from Japan, and she's so happy that we're gonna visit her. Shout out to Mayumi. Mayumi, yeah, she's gonna be with us, of course. She's gonna be going everywhere with us. But let's go about go back to talking about tea here. Yes. So when you think about Japanese tea. You probably think about you know the beautiful tea ceremonies that they do, and they're so beautiful and they're so like meaningful in how they prepare their tea. Like there's so much like culture and history and sentiment like when they prepare tea. Yes. Um, but something that I like to talk about today is a tea that they serve that is incredible. It's called matcha tea. Um, oh. You've the, probably heard of uh, the the matcha green tea powder. The color it has is beautiful. Oh, I it's love it. So vibrant. Or maybe if you go to Starbucks and you order like a green tea latte, it's made with matcha. But something that I've learned very recent uh, is the incredible health benefits that this matcha tea has. Like it's insane. Like from the research that we've made, it's it's incredible the benefits that. It has to drink this tea.、Uh, we would love to let you know everything about matcha tea, but you something that inviting you to go and search. But the few things, Shaman, let's go to tell them few things that is great to have it at home. In my case, I have it because it's like a boost. But why I'm saying that? Let's see. First, it's packed with a lot of antioxidants. It boosts your metabolism and it helps burn calories. That's a win-win. It detoxifies, it calms the mind, and relaxes the body. That's what I love it. Yes, but at the same time, it also gives you energy, but not like the energy the that you would get from like coffee, for example. That it makes you feel like probably like a little jittery. The good thing about matcha tea is that it relaxes you, but also helps you concentrate better, and it enhances your mood because of all of the the minerals and the vitamins that this tea has. Oh my goodness! We can finish this. This is this is so long, honestly. But at least, please go try and read it. Honestly, I could go on like forever talking about the incredible benefits. We that... can make it a podcast only for matcha tea. Yeah. <laughs> so if you would like more information about. How good matcha tea is for you? Comment below and let us know if you would like to know more about that. Yes, let's go for the next one. Look, listen, listen, music. So, mom, what's the next country that we're traveling to? This is so very interesting. The, the way that they do it, the tradition. Oh my god, I, I get in love with the comment. Really. Yeah, it's it's honestly like what I'm saying. Comment because. Before talking to you, we made more research, more than to get more information that exactly what we know. And this, this is beautiful. This this country serves their teas in in a way that reflects the nature of life in itself, and it's just so so beautiful and and so deep into how like they serve their tea and that country. So meaningful. Yeah, the the way that they they prepare their tea has a lot of meaning behind it. In that country is Morocco. Morocco. What a beautiful country! I think it's more than the beautiful. I think it's so magical. The colors, like those、uh, castles. Oh my God! It's like、uh, you living inside of the movie. Yeah, it's like it's like walking into a fairy tale. And the way that their tea looks is also like something that is out of a fairy tale, don't you think? Oh my God! I I would love to describe it, but it's so many detail. It's very rich in, in color, and I don't know if it's silver. The caps are glasses. 
that's what I can say. They're not like a well, they have a cap with a handle. Yeah, it's not like the they, it's not like the typical mug that that you would see tea in. It's served in a glass cup, and the tea has mix of mint. Mm. They serve it with sugar. Wow. We right now we're just drinking tea between you and me, Sharon, but we don't put sugar today. <laughs> so we're not yeah. the Morocco style. It's a it's a little bit similar, but it's the way that Moroccan people serve their tea is is different to how we drink our tea. And I think that how they do it is very beautiful. They they base it off of a of a proverb that they have. Interesting. Tell me, Sharon, we're gonna learn more. So apparently since they uh, serve it in threes, the first glass of tea will be as gentle as life. The second will be as strong as, as love. 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 Oh my goodness. Look at the third. That's very but interesting. But the third is as bitter as death. I would love to learn these three things. It's it's such a, a such a profound way of serving their tea and I think it's very beautiful and I would love to experience that. But is is okay, let's go back a little bit. We said already it's meaningful. This is the proverb that teaching us to match the three phases of life. But this is so great when you put this one with your friends because mm -hmm. basically they do it when you have, okay, the host says, right? They yes. are coming to your home. You are going to the houses and they put this one to you with this meaningful tea. It's too, for me, it's too much meaning. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. I would probably like cry out of like, yeah, emotionally. It's, mm -hmm. it's emotional. And not only that, but you cannot refuse because for them, it's really really high of rudeness if you wow. say no to their tea. Honestly, uh, I don't know who would ever refuse such a beautiful gesture like that. Of course like not, that. but basically look at them, how they serve in you, like the Japanese, it's like, yeah. it's a ceremony for the people who are going to the houses in order to serve tea. It's not just like a cap and just put a little saquito <laughs> tea up there. No, it's yeah. too many things involved in this. It's, it's almost as if like, the Moroccan people are like inviting you into their life and showing you the beauty and the flavor that each stage of life has. And I think that that's, that's incredible what it's they amazing. do. It's amazing, it's amazing. I learned so much today. I love it. Wow, listen to the music, Sharon. Thank oh, you so much. Yay! Oh it's, my God! It's that time, you guys. It's welcome home. It's my homie thingy. Viva la patria! Yay! I think, I think you already know what country we're, we're going to be talking about next. <laughs> I don't know if you heard my accent, but if I'm, I really think hard accent in English. I'm from Argentina. <laughs> and this is what we're just talking about, our mate. El mate. mate. Well, we're, I don't we're know probably if gonna drink it. some a little bit. Yes, I have it right here. So please, <laughs> let's let's put let's away see. those cup, beautiful cups, we're and moving. let's bring my mate with a break of friends. We're moving away the green tea and, and the we're, thermo. We're moving Can into you hear it? look. That's a, that's a thermo, and we're <laughs> moving into the mate. Okay, let's see if you can hear it. This is ASMR now. <laughs> That's the water that we just pour into the mate. Mate is like the container where you put the sherba mate mm -hmm. and we drink it through bombilla. That you can yeah. call straw in translation, but the name is bombilla. It's like a straw, but it's a, it's a special straw. It's actually very beautiful. Um, usually the straws are made out of a, a precious metal, right? Like gold or silver. Yeah, traditionally because we just drink and pass to the next friend. I mean, I drink it, finish it, pour, pour water and pass to the next one. And mm -hmm. maybe 10 people in the party and the 10 people is drinking from the same from the same straw. Bombisha. <laughs> from the same bombisha. And all but of it's nothing happens. And if, everything is better and better with a great Oh. <laughs> el, el mate is better and better if it's a good gossip. If there's oh, wow. good gossip, yeah, or, or a good story. I think it's better to say story than a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all love a good gossip, don't we? Yeah, but we don't like to destroy people with gossip. No. Like, no, it's just in a story. <laughs> of course, every single person pass around, the story get bigger and bigger. Yeah, but like for some people, it might be a little bit shocking um, to hear that we share 
the drink with a lot of people, but since it has the metal, it, it kills all of the bacteria. So don't worry, you're not gonna get sick if you share the, the mate with us. Well, well, if you're not from Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, of course, probably sounds like a difficult to understand that has too many people but it's great and i think that the whole like culture of drinking mate is a huge reflection as to how argentinian culture is in general like we love to share everything especially food and a meal like in the asados and in the pizza that the argentinians have like you will notice that we just love to share Argentinian, we are so special. <laughs> We're so humble. But the thing is, probably if you walking around and you see a friend that you don't like to see them, the first thing you will say is, "Hey, let's go to get mate. Let's go to drink mate." It's it's a symbol to reunite and just get together. If you are not have money for anything at home, you will have mate. You will have mate, and you're always gonna be so happy to be with someone to drink mate. Yeah. But it's a great, great companion, even oh, if you're yes. alone, and oh, it's a great companion. Well, for me, um, when, I, when I was studying in college, like lots of, of my classmates, they would be drinking coffee and they would have these horrible crashes after. Because, you know, when you're in finals or you're doing projects, you need to stay awake, you need to stay alert, and you always have to have energy. But mate for me was such a huge lifesaver. Like it would give in me a healthy way, in and a, a health, way. a healthy lifesaver. Um, much like the matcha, it gives you a lot of healthy energy without the caffeine. Like it, it's make you to be more alert, but it's not get you sleepy. Yeah, it's maintaining you awake, it but does, your brain is still working, but you know hyper. It doesn't make you jittery like coffee does. I think it's wonderful. And at the same time, it has lots of antioxidants, minerals, amino acids, and vitamins. It is great. Look, look, look. So for all you, all you college students, high schoolers, middle schoolers, if you're studying, mate is your best friend. It is. And we finish it. <laughs> mm. So mom, why don't, why don't you uh, tell them how to prepare mate for those of you that want to try it out. Well, to prepare, I would love people looking, you know, to see us how to do it. But basically, you need the sherba mate. You can buy in the supermarket, Argentinian, please. And then you have a mate, which is this. the cup. Yeah, the cup that you put the sherba mate. And of course, you need a straw. The name in Spanish for Argentinian is bombilla. And you need a thermo. How do you say this in English, Shaman Thermo? Thermo. <laughs> Honestly, can... I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about what the name of a, a thermos? A thermos. Thermos. Oh it's, my it's gosh. It's just to keep the water warm, but you cannot boil it. Boil it, yeah. And what yeah. happens if a person is served a mate and they start to stir it <laughs> with, with the straw? And this They're going to yell. They're going to say, no! This is something that happens like to a lot of my friends that try out the mate that are not Argentinian. They start to like stir the straw and like all like my family is like, no, what are you doing? No, you cannot do it. If with my mom says, no, que no es puchero, eso no se revuelve. You Basically what that. they're saying is not like soup, right? It's yes, not soup. <laughs> because you destroy the, the, you know, separate the, the sherba mate. I didn't know. I didn't know. I just learn something else about my own country really that they call a drink of gods oh yeah I've, I've i've read in like a bunch of articles um that mate to a lot of people is called the drink of the gods i didn't know i just i just learned i was reading to give more information mm -hmm. and it was great to read it because i know oh i thought i knew everything <laughs> Oh my God, the drink of God. And then Argentinian, we cannot say that Aww. because we're so humble now. We have a drink of God. So <laughs> humble in air quotes. Mom, we need to catch our flight. We need come to come go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, let's go. Do you, do, do you want to guess where we're flying to right no, now? No, they're not going to guess. They're not going to guess. Can you hear the music? Can you hear the music? Let's see. Yeah, you guessed right. It's Are you India. Sure? 
Let's go. Let's go to learn a little about this beautiful tea from India. Something that that I'm very appreciative of the Indian people is their invention of chai tea. I love chai tea so much. It's so good and it's perfect for the autumn. Mm, well, because it's spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, they they Mixed. the chai tea is made with spices like cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, cardamom and pepper. Mm. But basically chai is not a tea, is in name meaning tea. Exactly. I I didn't know this, but this is derived from the Chinese word of tea. Mm -hmm. Um it's basically you're basically saying tea tea. <laughs> Sharing cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's is real. So chai is not a is not a tea or kind of tea is the name translated in India means And, tea. Yeah, it's basically tea in Hindi. Would you like to know something very interesting and in how Indian people yes, serve their tea? I want to know. Yes. Well, this is something that I really appreciate and love and was surprised because this is something that I didn't know. Apparently, they, well, some vendors called chai wallas, they sell their chai tea in a small sustainable clay cup. Oh, they're sustainable. That's amazing. Good job, India. That's a win. And look at what you're seeing here, the pictures. And if you like to know, we can just send it to you. You can just request and DM. Mm -hmm. But the pictures of the little clay cap, they're so cute. Yeah. It's like a earth collar. And some people say that the dust that the clay cup has is a crucial ingredient to get the true taste of this national drink. So oh. I am I am dying to I try. I can't wait to see to see it and drink it. And drink it. The chai tea with the special clay dust. <laughs> Well, but it is it's like a touch. It's it's yeah, it's that like special unique and touch. true touch. Oh my goodness. To get I can't wait to the real flavor. So the next stop is going to be India then for us to travel. Definitely. And I think that that is all that we have for now. Maybe we should do another part because there's so many different cultures. We have more tea for the second part. International yeah. behavior. If you would like, if you would like another podcast of us talking about more tea culture and practices from all around the world, please comment and like below if you would like to learn more about that. Of course they would like it. Don't forget <laughs> to subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you so much for listening to Alamon. Let me get my cup of tea with my mate and let's go to cheers. Okay, let's try it again. So thank you guys so much for tuning into our podcast with A La Mode by Ian Podcast. See you around. Mm. Let's go to finish my tea. Mm. Don't do that now. <laughs> <laughs>